Minnesotans are taking off at a faster rate than they have in a year. The airport expects more traffic this month for spring break than it has seen since the pandemic started. With so many more travelers flying, what is the risk of getting COVID on an airplane? Susan Elizabeth Littlefield answers tonight's good question. It's been a cold, harsh winter and a cold, harsh year. Angela Brown, a pastor and public health advocate, has been on the front line. You deal with death and trauma a lot too, right? I do. I deal with um, life and death. <laughs> so um, with that being said, I have to make sure that I do a lot of mental health care on myself. So after a year of working hard, she and her family decided to take it easy and head to Fort Lauderdale. For me, it was so relaxing. Did you feel safe getting on a plane? I felt very safe uh, getting on the plane. And she is not alone. Where are you headed? Phoenix? Yes, Arizona. Air travel is ascending at MSP with spring break on the horizon. It sounds like things are going to pick up. Yeah, w w all the signs are showing that March will be the biggest month since the pandemic began a year ago. But how safe is it? Well, exact transmission isn't known because contact tracing on flights just started and it's voluntary. But a study from Harvard says with proper precautions, flying can be safer than grocery shopping. Precautions like having clean hands, masks, and sanitized cabins. A study from MIT says thanks to filtration systems, it's safer than you think to fly, especially when there are empty seats beside you. But this European study warns of an outbreak on a flight in Ireland over the summer where 13 people throughout the plane all got COVID. And the CDC says it's still not safe to travel. <laughs> so as vaccines roll out, stir-crazy Minnesotans are weighing the risks and rewards. You look relaxed. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm fired up and uh, I'm ready to go. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Even though flights at MSP are at the highest level in a year, business is still down 40% from last March. If you are going to fly, MIT researchers say window seats are safest when it comes to avoiding getting sick. If you have a good question, email us by visiting wcco.com links.